the key to teaching tension, of course, is teaching tension. And one of the things that I really strive to do is have exercises like the push-up position plank, the pup, the vertical plank, the glute bridge with the ab hold, the suitcase carry. Later on, we'll do things like deadlifts, the power lifts, which are masterful exercises for teaching tension. And that's wonderful because you want as much tension as you can if you're going to do things like deadlift or plank or back squat or even bench press. But not all sports are those high tension movements. In fact, most of sports is much lighter, and in team sports and in other uh, in, in life, you've got to be able to move your tension levels up and down as appropriate. When you're picking up a couch to move, that's one kind of tension. When you're sitting in that couch is another. So we also have to teach our athletes how to bring tension down. Um, I use the work of Bud Winters, his great book, Relax and Win. I actually met Bud Winters several times. He and my college coach, Ralph Mon were very good friends, both World War II vets who became uh, world-famous track and field coaches. And the number one thing I learned from uh, Bud Winters is that I can control my own relaxation. I can bring my own tension down. From there, he talked about some simple tools. Every coach in the world knows this next one, you know, getting warm brings your tension down. So you can do it by a hot tub, a sauna, a steam room putting on an extra jacket, doing whatever you need to do. On a hot day, putting on a, a hoodie is going to really make you a lot warmer, but it's also going to bring that tension down. I just brought the tension down by saying it. I started shaking my hands. You can shake your thighs. Uh, you can actively uh, self-massage certain things. I, I do like some of the more modern things we're talking about. Uh, I have a massage gun. Uh, a lot of people are doing exercises like this to bring down that, what we used to call tonus in the muscles, T-O-N-U-S. Uh, warming up, going for a quick run, doing some calisthenics, shaking that, doing some, that will bring your tension down. It's a very important tool physically to do. I am going to recommend one other thing on this side, even though we're starting to slide over to the mental side, which is a browser. Tension is the physical side, arousal is the mental side. I don't like that separation. I don't like that splitting there because I, I, I believe, because of you know, my great belief in Western tradition, the, the body, soul, spirit, mind, whatever, we're one piece. The body is one piece. Having said that, when I coach, I like to have that separation just so we have drills that we do out on the field of play and things we do here. Well, what's my final secret is, of course, first and foremost, I think you have to sleep well. Now, I, as a youth, I didn't sleep well. I think it really hurt me. Noise bothered me. Darkness bothered me. Well, it's a lot easier in this day and age to fix that. I use a sleep mask, a very thick, very plush sleep mask. This is the one I use. And it's got Bluetooth speakers in there. And when I have those speakers on at night, if it is a loud place, I listen to Brain.fm, and I have a sleep focus when I listen to, and it is basically, uh, I also, by the way, in my house here, I don't take my travel, I also have those little white noise boxes that make noise to deaden. Those little sounds you hear, now, where I live, we don't get a lot of street traffic, but when I travel, I tend to be in cities, and I'm not used to it. My sleep mask helps me sleep. The final point I want you to think about on bringing down physical tension is meditation. I use, again, Brain.fm. My favorite one is called Rain Reflection. And I do one thing I want you to think about is I do my daily long meditation, about 15 minutes, when I wake up in the morning. When I wake up, before I put on my makeup, as the gentleman probably would say, I, I wake up, the co my coffee pot goes off, and I hear it making that sputter sound, that, that click and sputter sound. Uh, that generally wakes me up. I put my eye mask on, I turn on that meditation, and then I lay back down, close my eyes, and spend 15 minutes focusing on my breathing and just bringing things down. Why do I do it in the morning? If you fall asleep while you meditate, it probably means you're tired. And there's nothing wrong with being tired. However, I don't think you get all the benefits from meditation if you don't constantly fall asleep. 
So I do my best to meditate. So I actively bring everything down up here. Slow everything down first thing in the morning. And it seems to hold me in a good place until I come in here in my weight room, raise my tension levels back up, and uh, there we go. We do it again, and then I try to wave them as appropriate throughout the day. Tension. It's the first tool in the strength coach's toolbox.